Hi everyone, my name is Paritosh Parmar and today I will be presenting our work titled Wind Fail Action Recognition. Our work is on the topic of video understanding, which currently uses action recognition as, the, as, as a benchmark task. Action recognition can be viewed as a two-step process in which we first extract the spatiotemporal signature from the video volume and then determine the probability of action classes based on that. However, we observe a shortcoming of using action recognition as a video understanding benchmark. We noted that the current action recognition datasets, although have a large number of action classes, the intra-class variance is very low. Here we have shown samples from two randomly chosen classes basketball and tennis swing. As we can see, all the samples from each action class contain identical spatiotemporal signatures. For example, in basketball, people hold the, the ball in their hands and then try to throw it into the basket. So we pose the following question. Is the action recognition more of a pattern recognition problem and does action recognition in its current state actually require models to understand videos comprehensively we believe that the answer is no and that the models are limiting themselves to just pattern recognition so towards that end we propose to repurpose the task of action recognition from differentiating among action classes to differentiating between concepts of winning and failing. Where winning can be defined as completing a task successfully, while failing can be defined as not being able to complete the task. Here we have compared typical action recognition against our wind fail action recognition. As you can see that the action class signatures look very similar in case of typical action recognition, but the action class signatures look very different in our wind fail action recognition data set. For example, winning looks very different in all the four examples here and so does the failing. Therefore, we believe that action recognition task on existing datasets can be solved by merely recognizing the patterns. While on our dataset, the task cannot be solved by recognizing the patterns. It requires more comprehensive understanding by piecing together contextual and human movement cues as the video progresses. To facilitate our task, we curated a new dataset. This dataset contains 817 pairs of wins and their corresponding fails. We collected samples from four different domains, and our dataset is available from this address. Now let's take a look at some of the samples from each domain. First domain is general stunts. For each win sample, we have curated the corresponding fail sample. In wins column, the person is able to complete the stunt and land correctly, while not in fails column. Wins versus fails compilations are quite popular on YouTube. So for our second domain, we considered this kind of videos. People play a lot of games during parties or get-togethers. So for our third domain, we curated samples from such games. In wins column, the players are able to complete the task, while in fails column, they are not. For our last domain, we chose trick shots. This involves competitive activities like flipping the bottles. We also made sure to exclude samples or their parts that would allow our models to take shortcuts. 
for example we made sure not to include any part of videos where people are showing positive or negative emotions as that may give away the class category we also retained only the samples where winning or failing was a consequence of the person under consideration and not of other external people for our winfield action recognition task we considered two types of models first one is individual sample assessment which is same as typical action recognition models the second one is a pairwise comparative approach now we will move on to the experiments through experiments we wanted to analyze the characteristics of our task and data set and wanted to determine their suitability to serve as a benchmark for video understanding in our experiments we kept the cnn backbone frozen and only learned the temporal model to begin with we considered a 2d cnn as the backbone currently averaging of frame level or clip level features works best on many action recognition data set which suggests that data set doesn't require true temporal modeling in this experiment we compared averaging versus lstm and found that lstm worked better than averaging which suggests that our task and data set requires true temporal modeling which is a desired quality in a video understanding benchmark in this experiment we compared our individual assessment approach against pairwise comparative approach and found that comparative approach performed significantly better in many action recognition data sets action class can be determined from just a single frame which may be undesirable from the perspective of video understanding in this experiment we wanted to see if useful information was present in intermediate frames in our data set therefore we sample different number of frames from entire sequences we compared the number of frames required against a popular action recognition data set ucf 101 we found that while ucf 101 requires only 4 frames our winfield action recognition data set requires 16 frames interestingly we also found that 2d cnn features fared better than 3d cnn features on our data set we also tried training 2d cnn backbone jointly with the temporal model and found that end to end training worked better suggesting that in addition to the temporal modeling special modeling is also demanded by our data set in this experiment we temporally shuffled only a part of the sequence while keeping the rest intact we observed that while the impact was maximum when the entire sequence was shuffled shuffling even subsequences adversely affected the performance which indicated the importance of temporal temporal order not only in the entire sequence but also in, in subsequences in this experiment we tested to see if we can predict wins or fails from looking at partial sequences and found that in order to make reliable decisions our models had to look at the entire sequences lastly we tried to transfer our model to unseen domains like fault detection baby wins and fails and animal wins and fails for this we used video retrieval setting and cosine distance as the similarity metric we compared the performance of our models against models trained using ucf 101 action data set and found that our model outperformed across all the domains to conclude we first discussed the problems with using 
action recognition in its current state as a benchmark for video understanding. We then introduced our wind fail task and dataset. And lastly, we showed the suitability to serve as a benchmark for video understanding. Thank you very much and please feel free to ask any questions you may have.